chiral transformation uh, of a spinner is defined as follow. Up to the gamma 5 matrix, it's very similar to the U1 transformation we have seen before for gauge transformation. Chirality is useful to define the handedness of a particle. So for massless particle, uh, the chirality is the same thing as um, the helicity. And the helicity is related to the alignment or anti-alignment of uh, the momentum with the spin of a particle. For a particle with a finite mass, the definition of the chirality is a bit more abstract. The appearance of the gamma phi matrix um, is due to the fact that to project a state into the right-handed or left-handed uh, chiral uh, eigenstates, we can use projectors which involve this gamma phi matrix. There is no fundamental reason why chiral symmetry should be uh, an, an exact symmetry to a fundamental theory. Uh, in fact, a mass term uh, for the fermion uh, breaks chiral symmetry. However, for a massless uh, direct field, chiral symmetry is exact. And it turns out that chiral symmetry is almost a good symmetry for the strong indirection. As a result, the popular approach to uh, the strong interaction in nuclear physics is uh, what we call the chiral perturbation theory. So it starts with a, a chiral symmetry as a good symmetry and add uh, to the Lagrangian describing the interaction between nucleons a term which uh, breaks chiral symmetry but which is treated as a perturbation. So how come chiral symmetry can describe um, the interaction between nucleons, uh, knowing that the nucleons are relatively heavy particles, they have about one giga electron volt, and we just said that the mass term uh, violates chiral symmetry. It turns out that in this model, the mass of the nucleon is uh, essentially generated by a chiral spontaneous symmetry breaking. It also produces a Goldstone boson, which in this case is just a pion which is one of the mediators of the interaction between nucleons. This mechanism of strong nuclear interaction based on chiral uh, spontaneous symmetry breaking was proposed by Nambu uh, in the 60s and he got the Nobel Prize for it in 2008. In fact, this model is only an idealization uh, because chiral symmetry is only an approximate symmetry for the nucleon pion system. Indeed, there is a small term in the nucleon pion Lagrangian which explicitly breaks uh, chiral symmetry and which is then the basis for the chiral perturbation theory and it is also the source for the non-zero mass of the pion. Indeed, if the symmetry was exact, the uh, Goldstone boson would be massless but it turns out that the pion has a non-zero mass. It's light, it's about one order of magnitude lighter than the nucleon. Nevertheless, its mass is not exactly zero. Therefore, the chiral symmetry is only an approximate symmetry in nuclear physics. What we are talking about here is a strong nuclear interaction, which is interaction between nucleons. It's actually an effective interaction. We know that the fundamental underlying interaction is uh, QCD, quantum chromodynamics. But QCD itself uh, breaks chiral symmetry, so chiral symmetry is not an exact symmetry to QCD and because simply the mass of the uh, up and down quarks is not z exactly zero. It's small but not exactly zero. And it turns out that this small chiral symmetry breaking, explicit chiral symmetry breaking f in QCD coming from the fact that the uh, light quarks, the up and down quarks, have a non-zero mass, is responsible for uh, the chiral symmetry breaking in the strong nuclear interaction and therefore generates uh, the mass of the pion to be of the order of 140 mega electron volt. However, this explicit chiral symmetry breaking is only responsible for a tiny part of the mass of the nucleon 
and most of the mass of the nucleon, like 99% of its mass, is actually produced by the spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking, uh, which was proposed by Nambu in the 60s. 